Hey everyone, so tonight we're doing a review on the Marvel Legends Phage from the Venom Pool Wave. Last figure with build a figure pieces. That's a cool picture of our image of Phage right there, along with the rest of the figures in the wave and Phage there. But we'll go and get this guy opened up and then we'll check out the details. All right, and he comes with both legs of Venom Pool, which looks very cool, but it definitely makes that figure a little harder when he comes with two build a figure pieces. I don't know if I've seen that in a while. Or ever, when if a figure came with two builder figure pieces, maybe interchangeable hands, but I don't really count that. But anyway, it comes with this little uh, attachment where he has like a blade, looks really cool. It's just done in that black, and it does have that nice uh, shine. Okay, there you go. On the blade part, I think it looks pretty cool. But it's got a good old spike right there, but it is very pliable and just has a little peg right there. Very cool. I like this attachment. All right, now checking out Phage. His head sculpt is so cool. I really do like it. Um, mine actually isn't too bad. There's a little blotchiness. You can see right there on the black on the front here. You can see some of the yellow, you know, off yellow kind of shining through or coming through the black paint where it just wasn't on quite thick enough. The white on the eyes otherwise look... Ah, jeez. Sorry about that. The white on the eyes otherwise looks really good. A little blotchy on the bottom, but overall it's nice, clean, uh, white. I love the open mouth. I love how you can see the jaw muscles along the side here, along with his tongue. Teeth look great. Very cool. Now I'll come around his head here, and he's got this little attachment that can come off, which is cool. It's just done in black. Otherwise, you can just see the black splatter on his back here. Otherwise, he's just got the single peg right there. The black on the shoulders looks good. I love these on his arms. Looks really cool. And same thing with the black splatter along his chest here. It looks great. There's a little bit of the yellow that's like always expected right there in those crevices of like the abs area. The shoulders, they look good. Let's get this thing to refocus. Coming down here, I like that he's got open like claw hands and continues the yellow and he does have more of those on the side here. But the splatter, you know, the black on the yellow looks really good. A little blotchy there. But overall, it looks pretty clean eh, here and there. As I say that, there's always like blotchiness. I tend to pick out. There's some spots right there too, but not too bad. Overall, I think it looks really good. I like the sculpt on the top here too. It's cool. All right, so I'm gonna go with the articulation. Head looks left, it looks right, up and down. It also has ball joints in the shoulders. They move out, down, forward, and back. Upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, wrist rotation, hinge at the wrist, uh, ab crunch. Arch is back, continues with black up, which is great. Waist hole, so that's about that much. And he kicks up pretty high. Get this thing back in focus if I can get it to do it. There we go. And upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, boot rotation, ankles move down, they move up. He does have nice ankle rockers and pickles on his feet. I'll go ahead and show you him with his uh, interchangeable hand and show you guys how tall Phage is. I think this looks awesome. Looks really cool. I like how it attaches to where um, you can barely see where it even is. It's just kind of that the way the black kind of slides over his forearm. I think that looks really cool. Very nice. All right, I'll show you guys how tall Phage is. So Phage stands a little over six inches tall. Here he is next to Poison. Scream. I'm forgetting his name. Ah! Anti Venom. And Toxin, Venom, and I'm, again, I'm lame tonight. I cannot remember his name either. But it's just cool to have such a good little collection of all the different symbiotes. We're just kind of changing up the colors, and it's just awesome. It's awesome to have Phage and to kind of continue to build. Uh, the symbiotes collection i think it's just it's really cool anyway i don't have really any complaints about the figure i think it's a great figure um, i like the way he looks i like that they gave him more of an intense look rather than just a closed mouth i'm glad it's open and like kind of you see all those teeth and everything it's just an all around really cool figure i like his interchangeable part too it's a, i like that it's a weapon so very cool figure anyway hope you guys enjoyed this review please leave a comment hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't take care bye